Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today is Theo's eight month baby update. So he is eight months old today. You can probably hear his walker over there. Um, so I just kind of wanted to sit down and do an eight months postpartum baby update kind of thing because I haven't actually done one, I believe, since four months, six months, one of those two. Um, so Theo will be in and out of the video because he doesn't sit still anymore, do you? So yeah, if you want to see Theo and all that and his milestones and things keep watching if you're not interested just go find another video okay Theo it's your time to shine pickle okay so this is Theo <laughs> this is Theo hello so he is obviously eight months old today I don't really know the changes obviously he has a lot of hair now Yes, he's fully in his weaning process of food. He loves his food. Yes. He's still got no teeth. Um, he's in 12 to 18 baby grows. And size 4 nappies. But we need to get some size 5s. He's in awe of just the camera. Um, he is attempting to crawl. Um, he can roll. He is attempting to crawl now. He basically army crawls. He's not standing up or anything like that yet. And he hasn't said a first word yet unless you count dad, 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 dad. I don't know if it was just babbling or him saying dad. So I don't know. Um, he is sleeping all the way through the night apart from the nights where he's either poorly or things like that. Um, we haven't done his routine, so like say we haven't given him a bath, he will not sleep the night. It's very, very weird how strict to the routine we have to be. But it's the L's way. So actually he has just overcome an infection, which was an ear infection. Um, he had it for about a week and a half, two weeks, and it was the most painful thing to see because he'd never been ill before until he got a cold. We all had it at the same time, um, and obviously it affected Theo a lot worse than us, which, which meant he got an ear infection. Um, he was on antibiotics. He's only just finished them, actually. Um, and then we went back to the doctors because we didn't think they'd work because he was still in the exact same amount of pain. Um, they said it was going, so we've just got to... He, he's be a lot better today than yesterday when we went to the doctors, but he's all fine now, which is good. He was on amoxicillin, like the one you keep in the fridge, wasn't you? He loved it more than cowpaw, and he loves cowpaw, so... That's saying something. Yes. Um, his favourite programmes are things like Miss Rachel. He loves Miss Rachel. And then he watches CBBs. Um, sometimes. He likes Shipwrecked. Is that what it's called? Like the, um, the one where the little kids come on and it's a woman that tries to get the jewels. I don't know, but it's that one. Um, and then it's Bluey and Hey Dougie. Hey Dougie is one of his all time favourites. And then there's a couple more like um, Love Monster. He's obsessed with Love Monster. There's probably a few I'm missing, but you know, <laughs> my brain is not functioning today for some reason. But his, his hand eye coordination as well has gotten so good. Um, as well I don't really know how to explain it because I can just tell it's like if I give him both my hands he will just grab both my hands you know what I mean like he has gotten so good at being able to reach for something he wants or um, pull at something he wants just being able to from like a couple months ago not being able to like pick things up in that to like this mummy makes mummy is so proud He's on the move in his walker now as well, which that has been a couple weeks though. But, but was that because mummy wouldn't give you her finger to chew on? Do you want a teether thing? 
Um, so yeah, anyway, as I was saying, he's only just in the last couple of days managed to get into the kitchen with it. So, yes, he's now leaving the room to go into another room. So that's just amazing. Mummy's so proud of you. I don't actually know how much he weighs anymore. When his last jabs were, he was 20 six pounds we've weighed him at home but obviously it's not as accurate because i weigh myself then i have him in my arms no i weigh myself with him and then i t then i weigh myself and then i take away the weight obviously that he added so then we found out that he was 28 pounds and that was about a month ago now so i'd say about 29 now because he's actually completely long now Mummy well, we can't really lift him but he's very long now and he's lost like, his little baby chub whilst he's been growing he knows i'm talking about him you know i'm talking about you baby hello that's all i can really think about for theo other than the fact that he is um baby led weaning i believe it's called he loves toast he loves toast um rusks strawberries um pear broccoli peas he loves all that stuff um he just loves it he's obsessed you are um he is obviously still on like baby porridge and baby rice and things like that as he doesn't have teeth but until he has teeth I'm happy with him just having smooth things because if you don't have teeth how are you supposed to like chew things you know that's everything I can think of for Theo um so for me I don't know it doesn't feel like I gave birth eight months ago at all my periods have only just really come back to normal and even then sometimes they're four days long sometimes they're eight days long so that's not even really normal so i'm still quite obviously postpartum um i'm still getting used to my postpartum body and obviously um i put i loved my body when i first gave birth to him because that's like the way i wanted to be um whereas now well, my, my appetite's completely gone so I'm, I am in the process of weight gaining um, because after Theo my appetite completely disappeared and obviously looking after a newborn and now even so you don't think about it well I personally didn't even think about eating so I'd eat if I needed to which was a mistake I tell you that it was a mistake because now I'm very skinny and I struggle to put on weight so you know um so that's a big thing for me at the moment is my postpartum body and needing to fix it okay guys so that's all I can think of for this video if you did enjoy this video then you should subscribe and I will see you all in my next video so bye 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 don't hit yourself in the face.